You are now watching Surveillance. Do Donate or subscribe for more sick taunts. Hello everybody, so today we're going to take a look at the exciting new Retribution boss. Um, our new glyph, Deal of Vengeance, changes, there's been a lot of numbers floating around, so I thought I'd hook you guys up some, some real data. I know you guys haven't been able to taunt much throughout Wrath so far in raids, because it's kind of difficult to find like a really good spot to use it, and it's it's, it's already been kind of a pain that, to parse, uh, you would want to get these like sneaky little taunts out and like risk your life. To me, it's like... It's sort of bad design, so um, I know a lot of you guys haven't been able to taunt a lot because it was so risky, but uh, we've all known how strong the spell is, because most of us use it in our day-to-day, -day, like, solo grind stuff, doing quests, whatever. Um, so I decided to hop on a Heroic Dummy and do my normal rotation for a while and just see how much damage comes from Hand of Wreck, uh, and every single time that I did, I got about 10 to 11%, which, which makes a lot of sense. Um, there is a new branch for the sim that you can view and and run if you know how to compile the code in Microsoft Visual Studio, which I do not, but however, I know a guy who is smarter than me and he did, um, and he posted his results into the Discord. His name is Maha, um, and he found that we went from 84.35 DPS to 92.16. So that's about 800 DPS. That's that's early numbers to so take it with a grain of salt, but that's about a 9% increase on single target. It brings us up to a little bit lower than where Fury and Feral are in their sim, in their full BIS gear. That's about 9.4 to 9.5k, so that's about 200 DPS above where we are going to be. So it is quite a substantial buff. Um, it includes the extra stacking on Seal of Vengeance, which doesn't add very much DPS at all on a single target patchwork style fight, but it does help a lot on a fight like Iron Council hard mode where you have to keep stacking it back up. So even though it is a substantial buff, we are still gonna be struggling single target. We're still gonna be one of the lower end classes, but we're now not gonna be trailing so far behind. Okay, so now remember, this spell is off the global cooldown, so for the best cast per minute, you should just macro it into all of your DPS abilities. Just make sure you always have the glyph equipped, <laughs> otherwise you're gonna start taunting things off of people and probably die. You should also have like a separate manual bind. For me, I use middle mouse, like scroll click. Um, for when you need to use it from range or on a specific target, mouse over macro also really helps for that. Uh, you can find one of those in the deep dive document if you need it, but if you have a mouse over macro, you can just mouse over a mob and instantly hit them with it. So, uh, furthermore, the taunt portion of the spell can resist, and it's based on spell hit. There's also a glyph that can reduce it, but we don't care about the taunt portion because we are going to be using the glyph. So the damage portion cannot full resist. It can only partial resist. So as long as the target is not targeting you, Hand of Reckoning will always deal damage. It can partial resist, but it will always deal damage. Um, and then more hit will not help reduce partial resists. So it's not going to change the value of hit. I'm not expecting this to have like a major impact on stat weights or anything like that, but I will let you guys know as we do more uh, math on that. But I think it's safe to say that like crit, attack power, and strength will scale a little bit better because of this new spell. So uh, once I have like some new stat weights figured out for you guys and a new graph, then I will share that with you guys and you can see exactly how it will impact um, our stats. So the Seal of Vengeance changes is not something I'm able to test in game right now. Uh, we're expecting it to have like some implications on Cleave. So before, you, if you guys remember from the deep dive, the little section that talks about um, how many targets you will use uh, like Seal of Vengeance on and Seal of Command on. Um, and for Seal of Vengeance versus Seal of Command, it was like two targets, 90 seconds was the cutoff. If it was shorter than 90 seconds, you would run Seal of Command. If it was longer than 90 seconds, you would run Seal of Vengeance. Well, after these changes, I'm expecting that Seal of Vengeance is just going to be better on two targets, and that the battle there is going to shift to a three-target encounter. So on a three-target encounter, maybe now it'll come down to fight length. That's what I'm expecting, but uh, I don't have too much for you guys on that at the moment. Um, all I know is that this is going to have some implications on Cleave, and I know that Blizzard doesn't want to make Seal of Command irrelevant. They don't want to make Seal of Vengeance the new Cleave seal, and if it becomes too strong on Cleave, they will absolutely um, fix it, um, in my opinion, anyway. What I think they would do is 
if if Seal of Command stops getting used and people start using Seal of Vengeance for cleave situations, I would imagine that they would make it so that Divine Storm only applies the dot to your primary target and not anybody else that it cleaves. Um, even though that would be a little bit less quality of life for us, I could see them doing that if Seal of Command just became totally irrelevant, but I'm not convinced that that's going to happen yet. So I guess we'll have to wait and see. I think Seal of Command is still just going to be a lot better on fights like Kulagarn and Mimiron, uh, Phase 3 and 4, etc. So, anyways. Um, so with these new changes, Divine Storm is going to keep Seal of Vengeance stacked on all the targets. Um, and it's also going to hit each one of them for a swing roll based on the amount of stacks they have. Um, making Seal of Vengeance cleave possible and a little bit relevant, at least on a two-target fight. So, I think that Seal of Command is still going to be a lot better on like very short two-target trashbacks. Like, I'm thinking about less than 30-35 seconds just based on like my feels craft um but more uh will be coming on that soon as soon as we get some good data flowing we will finish updating the deep dive and everything um so in conclusion you can kind of expect about 9 to 11 percent dps increase on a single target fight on a four target cleave fight it's more like half of that it's about five percent so i think this adds a nice range spell to our toolkit which feels really nice on these ranged favored old war encounters it is absolutely a quite substantial buff, um, and it is also great for our quality of life, playing Retribution. I don't think this is going to make us OP, especially like come ICC. I know a lot of people talk about how good Red is in ICC. I think some people will exaggerate, but Red is good in ICC. Don't get me wrong, Like we have a very strong glow up in ICC. I'm not denying that at all, but we're not top DPS or anything. Um, at least we're not simming that way, and on like War Main, you know, Rhett wasn't top DPS in ICC. They did pretty good, though. So, if you go onto the sim and you pull up some Phase 5 gear, you can get to about 14,000 DPS on the sim. Now, if we assume that the taunt will stay at 9% damage gain throughout the expansion, and it should scale pretty well because it has a 50% attack power coefficient, which is pretty good. So, it should scale well. If it stays at 9% in the ICC, then we will go from 14,000 DPS to about 15,200 DPS. Um, so it will go from, instead of being an 800 DPS increase, it's about 1,200. So it's 50% bigger um, in terms of raw DPS. But that's still not OP. 15,000 is still not OP in for a Phase 5 sim. There's still a, you know, a handful of classes that are going to be simming above that by a decent margin, such as Fury or Warlock. So I don't buy into the concerns that Rhett will be OP. I don't think it's warranted. Um, they can always make changes down the road if they have to, but I don't think they're going to have to. This buff was subst substantial, but it was perfect in that it was precise enough to put us exactly where the rest of the bottom tier DPS are. So, now I saw someone on the forum say, um, somebody's got to be bottom DPS. Why not Rhett? And I was like, I mean, it's really interesting to me that Rhett Paladin has been bad for, like, so long in Classic that people think it belongs there. I mean, despite these changes, the only real PvE spec that is below us is Arms Warrior, which is kind of a PvP spec, but, I mean, it's a little bit more of a PvE spec than Frost, Mage, or Subtly Rogue. Um, so even though we're closer now, instead of being in a, you know, an entire content phase of DPS behind everybody else, even though we're much closer now, we're still going to be probably last on single target, um, just by much less. Like, we are going to be a lot closer. So, that's what you guys can expect from these changes. Like I said, 9 to 11% damage, a much easier time switching targets on single single target, or even cleave. Um, the possibility of using Seal of Vengeance as a cleave spell under certain scenarios. Um, being able to put Seal of Vengeance dot on all the targets around you with your Divine Storm. A lot of cool new tech. A lot of cool new data, a lot of cool new math to be doing. Um, I hope this gets you guys up to date and answers some of your questions about where we're going from here. So after these changes, here is my new personal glyph ranking. At the very top, we have S tier Reckoning, best by a huge margin, 750 DPS. Um, now that's 9%. This is all done with phase two gear. So these DPS numbers are going to scale up. Um, but this is all done with phase two gear, so keep that in context, okay? So down below that in the S tier, we have Seal of Vengeance, which is gonna give you 10 expertise per, or 10 DPS 
per expertise provided. So if you get all 10 expertise, that is 100 DPS. And then below that, you have Avenging Wrath. Once again, this is only for short fights, less than 330, um, or fights with perfectly lined up execute phases like Mimiron. Um, so this is up to 100 DPS gain when used properly. Below that, we have Judgment in the A tier, 75 to 85 DPS. Um, and then below that in the B tier, we have Exorcism and Consecrate, 40 to 60 DPS. Below that, we have Holy Wrath, less than 40, or zero if you're in Olduar. So when it comes to Seal of Vengeance, you guys can see a lot of people ask me, when do I replace Seal of Vengeance Cliff if I have too much expertise? Well, if you look here, um, 10 DPS per expertise. So if you only get half, it's only giving you 50 DPS and it's gonna be like less DPS than Judgment at 75 DPS. So you can kind of use that as a rule of thumb to see, is it worth me dropping my Seal of Vengeance Cliff or not? And if you guys are confused or you just need somebody to tell you what glyphs to use, then you can just click on the link down here uh, go to my old war boss guide. It's part of the gear tier list same document um, So if you just click that and you go down to the boss guide It'll just tell you what glyphs to use on every boss Now there's a little bit of variability like you know some bosses you could go with one set of glyphs or another But for the most part they're all listed there So if you just want to make it really easy then just head to that document and you can just use that So because of these new glyphs we ended up changing what standard and cleave glyphs are um, standard glyphs are now Seal of Vengeance, Reckoning, and Judgment, or Avenging Wrath. Cleave glyphs are now uh, Reckoning, Judgment, and Avenging Wrath Exorcism. So you're always going to use Reckoning, and you're always going to use Judgment. Um, anywhere where you would use Avenging Wrath, it would be specified in the boss guide. So one great thing about this uh, change is that we don't have to change glyphs as much as we used to. So that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all there is to say right now. Um, if you guys know how to use Visual Studio, you can boot up the new version of the sim. Um, the Deep Dive and the Old War Boss Guide are both under construction, but have undergone a lot of changes already, and you can check them out in the description down below. Um, I saw someone on the forum say, somebody has to be the bottom DPS, so why not Ret? And it's like so interesting to me that Repelden has been bad for so long during Classic that people think it belongs there, but I am really happy for this change, and I bet you guys are too. Once again, if you want to support the channel, you can do so down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. This show was brought to you by Light Club, where monkeys go to church.